Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Luther. Man, pick up the phone, man. You were supposed to call me as uh, soon as you got to where you was going. I ain't heard from you. A little weird. But anyway, bro, today is today. All this shit ends today. I'm going to show everybody that I didn't just run out on my responsibilities. I didn't just leave my family. Today, the truth comes out. I wish you was here, but, you know, it is what it is. So, bro, get at me, man. Let me know you good. All right. Talking in the kitchen and he left his phone. And a text came through Tokyo House. Tokyo House? Tokyo House. Is she Asian? I don't know. Or we don't even care anymore. How long has this been going on? I don't know. I know two weeks is when I left. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Two weeks, so that is why you're here. My two favorite ladies. How's everything? Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. How's everything? Mm. Mm. It's all right. Let me tell you what's going on. Okay. Your son-in-law, mm -hmm. Jason. You're right. Is cheating on our daughter. What? Are you serious? Yeah, he's in these streets all right. I cannot believe this shit. Yeah. So I think we need to handle this. No, oh, absolutely. no, no, no. Let me, let me deal with it. Just give me some time. Let me deal with it. Let me work some things, figure some things out. Baby. We've had two weeks to deal with this. Baby girl, are you sure? I'm positive. Please. Okay. Let me figure this out. Okay. All right. We're just a phone call away. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's something else I need to tell you. Okay. Tasha's daddy is back. <laughs> what? He's back? <laughs> He's back? How long has he been back? Oh, we're good. I've more than two weeks. And since he's been back, my life has been upside down. What do you mean? Well, for one, he keeps talking about Tasha want to be in her life. But I keep telling him, you, you left. And I'm just trying to figure out why, like why I come back now? And what was the reason for him to leave? He's back. He's back. Why is he back? I have no idea. Well, I need to find out why. And we do too. That's something you can take care of. You can take care of that one? Yes, please. Okay. On it. Done. Well, Jason did his thing last night, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did real good. I'm proud of him. Yeah, me too. I mean, he's still an asshole, but where are we going to put all this? You know, I'm going to simmer down. I understand. That's still my husband, though. Yeah, it is. I'll probably be more respectful. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. found anything else about the uh, Asian chick? No, no more Tokyo house that I know of. You know he wants to live and talk. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Mm. Mm. I don't know, though. 
Mm-hmm. What you don't know? It's everything that's been going on and everything you've done. I just don't. Oh well. You know what? Let's not. Mm-mm, let's not focus on that. What? What is this party for? Yeah. Up here today. You know how my parents do. I know, but they didn't even know. They just be kicking it for no reason. Of course. All this time I've been friends with you, they just be kicking it. Today ends in why? It's crazy. I love it though. <laughs> we can have so much fun. Turn up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this would be enough. Oh yeah. They have cater good. and stuff or whatever. That'll work. Tell Jason. You know what's best for me. Congratulations. Y'all hearing somebody else? Oh. John! Josh. What? Where you going? I gotta get right from here. You're gonna leave. Leave with me.
Hey, uh, can you stop all that pacing? You got my damn knees hurt. Talk. All right. The day that I left, I got a phone call from the hospital. And the doctor told me that if I want to see my mom alive, I need to get there. But you know, the whole time that we were together, um, my mom was in and out of the hospital. She had a heart problem. I never really discussed it with you much because I didn't want you worrying about it. I know know how you were worried. And um, when I get to the hospital, of course I'm gonna ask the doctor, is there anything that we can do? He said, there's two options. She can wait for a donor, but she didn't have time for that. Or we could buy a heart. Now you know just as well as I know, I didn't have money to buy much of nothing. So you used my parents? That's not how it went. Your father was in the hospital for some reason or another. I don't know. Um, he overheard the doctor talking to me. And he basically gave me an ultimatum. He said he'll give my mom a heart if I let yours go. I love my mom. I love you. But sometimes I felt like your life would have been better without me. So I took his deal. And even though you were pregnant with Tasha, um, he had said that he would make arrangements to get that handled. And that like, was okay with you? No, it wasn't okay with me. What was I supposed to do? Did you really love me? Because it looks like you chose your mom over me. I chose her life. And I chose what I thought was going to be a better life for you. And then you just walked back in after 20 years. Like nothing even happened. Oh, I, I know something happened. It's 20 years of my daughter's life. And this 20 years yours. There was never a day that went by that I didn't think about you. Had I knew about Tasha, I would have came back soon. But I didn't. Nobody knew. So why are you back now? Honestly. My plans in the beginning were to come back and get you. It's been hell ever since, so, I mean. Tell me about it. I didn't know that you and Jason were married, and I damn sure didn't know about Tasha. I can't apologize enough. I just, I just wanted it all back. Everything was peaceful, everything was good. Now, since you've been back, my life has just been upside down. So would you have rather me to stay away? Is that what you're saying? When you I saw loved me, you then. You love me now. I'm confused. Well, it'd be confused. I'm just going to tell it how it is. From the moment I saw you, I've been in love with you. Ain't nothing changed. I'm still in love with you. Damn your husband. Actions be louder than words. Full of action. Just got to let me show you. This love is too man. much. I'm just going to put it out here on the table. You can go back to that disrespect. No loyalty. 
and bonafide bullshit if you want to. You can stay here with me. How do you know about the disrespect? I see it. See it in your eye. You think I don't know when you hurt me? <laughs> I always know when you hurt. I feel it when you hurt. Look, I understand. You you tell me all these things about me and how you feel about me, but you you left me. And you left me to deal with the child by myself. Well, I can apologize with a thousand times and it still be the same. I'm sorry. I don't know who to trust now. You got my parents still trying to run my life. My husband is just all oh, fuck me. I'm still sorry. my husband. I'm sorry. Sorry. And then you coming in playing daddy after 20 years. And now you want your family back. Yeah, I do. I do. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get my family back. So, we can stand here and we can bicker back and forth. So we can go in there and we can have dinner. I can get myself to whip us up some. We can eat. We can talk. We want to go. No. Never been able to make you do something that you didn't want to do. But it looks fine at all. I don't think you want to go. You look a little hungry, Jocelyn. Let's smile. Let's go, Edie. Let's go. Sweet pea. Man, what the fuck is you doing in my house? The door's open. Thought I'd come check on you since I was on this side of town. No way my door's open, but you know I stay in the hood. Yeah, maybe you got too drunk. It's good I came over here. Usually I'm not around this time of the day. But last night I stayed up a little late and clapped some cheeks. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's some good news, some bad news. Just want to go on first, nigga. I want you to get in my house. I'll tell you the good news. Good news is somebody seen your show the other night. They want to meet you. So I brought him by. He should be at the door. Oh shit! What's up? Hey, big cash man, baby. What you doing here, man? Man, down here checking out the local talent, man. Man, I saw your show. I must say, I was impressed. Man, I did not even know you was in a building, man. I appreciate that, man. Man, I've been in this area scouting talent for a minute, but when I saw you, I, I kind of watched the whole show, yeah. and all I can say right now, I think you got what it takes. That's crazy, God. man. I appreciate that. That mean a lot coming from you, man. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't manage some of the best in the industry. I know, man. It's it's tough out here, but I hey, think uh, you want me to cut you off. Hey, hey, hey. The bad news. Oh, the bad news. Angel told me to give you this change of address form. We'd appreciate it if you uh. Change the name to Jocelyn and the address. Fuck me. Come on, Jason, answer the damn phone. Jason. Jason. 
talk to me. Listen, I have to tell you something about what happened at the party last night. Literally, you have to call me back. Like, you have to call me back, okay? This motherfucker don't never. Why is he not talking to me anymore? I don't even. I never even did anything so terrible. You know? <gasps> Look here, bitch. You got a little biz around this motherfucker. Time to do the slow fuck down. And leave Jason and Angel the fuck alone.